traffic, blues in pockets, my rank is high, these hoes is flocking, I'm checking my back, I'm thinking the way, I smack from the back to her leg shake, you know what it do, you know that I'm here, you thought it was good cause I ain't drunk for a minute, but nigga I'm a cold piece, pay cash nigga no lease, I'm walking through the club, what it do, what's good YouTube, it's your boy Black, I thought it was two different intros. Yeah, I know, bro, but you still, you still oh, say It's your boy Oliver. This nigga's name is not Your boy Oliver, Oliver that's bro, crazy. That is wild. <laughs> bro, what the fuck? Come bro? up with a new name, bro. No, nigga. That's how everybody know me about Oliver, nigga. This nigga been lying to people his whole life, guys. Bro, you got black engraved in your glasses? That's pretty fucking clever. <laughs> <laughs> Shit is. <laughs> As y'all know or may not know, I'm giving away every dollar for the next three months that I make on my YouTube channel. So pop it up on the screen, but we made $133. So I will be giving that away today. And I didn't know a clever way how till Martin introduced something to me. What if we find somebody out here homeless or just on the street? And what if we style them, like get them like a dope ass day? I'm like $130 though. There ain't much we can do with that, but that'll be the challenge. This guy had a bright idea to match it. Basically we got 260. I know it's not a lot, but no, 260 is a lot. 260 is a lot? Yeah, hell yeah. But if y'all don't know, Martin is a stylist and just a fashion, how would you call it? Savant. <laughs> what the fuck is a savant? You know what a savant is? No. Oh, fuck. I don't know. Never that. heard of that either. I heard Stephen A. Smith said. Savant? What that means, stylish? Very learned or talented person, especially distinguished in a particular field of science or arts. So you're a fashion uh -huh. savant? Yeah. We on a mission right now. To basically try to find somebody and just uh, bless them for the day. And this would be a dope way to uh, to do that. I was thinking about it too. I understand that somebody's life ain't going to be changed with 130, 260. You know what I mean? But that's not what we doing this for. A good deed. And for one, documenting shit like this. Because we do shit like this all the time without a camera. But just documenting this shit. For one, you don't know who you are inspired to do something just like this. Right now, we're just in the heart of Atlanta down here. Off of, uh, I don't know where this is at. But we used to come down here and do videos all the time. <laughs> we can go to that damn Walmart on MLK too. I'm from Atlanta, y'all know where we at. So y'all know where we at? <laughs> Not for us, there is. Jones Ave. Yeah. You know the worst rated Chinese or food spot period in Atlanta is this Chinese spot right here. The worst rated? Yeah, it got the worst. I ain't gonna lie, right here is cool too. Right here. Yeah, it's just who gonna wanna leave. Probably have to foot it. Get out on foot or yeah. something. Go to this, uh, what's the name? It's a park right here too. I just wanna see if it's, uh, right it's actually a nice ass park. That's the part you're yeah, to it. Yeah, yeah. It's a nice ass part. Nice as fuck. Go up there, run around, and they got basketball court and everything. Hopefully, we inspire somebody to do a good deed today or tomorrow or whenever y'all see this video. Just go do something for somebody else. It don't matter. I'll make a lift. It don't matter the extent of it. It don't matter how big it is. It could be just buying somebody some food. You know what I mean? So, just do a good deed, y'all. Uh. All right, so right now, y'all, we're in uh, Walmart. Where we at uh, on like. Okay. Yeah. This is by uh, Clark. This is where he used to work at. Yeah, nigga. Six, no, nigga. Seven, eight hour shifts, bro. Nigga did work here, bro. Oh, God. Walking around. Imagine that, bro. We was walking around for hours, bro. Yeah, that's some shit. But it's so crazy because, like, just watching the videos, you would just think that it just comes so instantly. naturally. Yeah, like, instantly. Oh, bro. Because imagine people that would have bad takes and shit. Yeah. And yeah. people were shocked. But it's not like all the people that we did a video was shopping at the same time. Like, right, 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 right. We'll probably stick around and probably be like a crowd that was like later. Buy their car. And then He's buying their car, though. Yeah, and then hopefully they down to get started. No, we just tell some clothes. No, we have to. You have to get on the pitch at once. Like, look. Yeah, hey, that's what I'm saying. We don't. It'll just be an L for us, bro. It'll just be. Yeah, we just buying it. Yeah, and then we still got a style yeah. And we are, look, we are on a budget, y'all. Right. We are on a budget. What's the budget? 260? 260, man. We're gonna keep it on the screen. Yeah. So basically, we got a new game plan, y'all. Innovating. Innovating on the spot. 
basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go get a couple pieces, pass them out to people that's in that area, and then and then hopefully we find somebody that's down to be a part of the video. That'd be dope. Yeah. Just help us out, please. Help us out, please. All right, so look, y'all. Blood Caesars, they got a 60 fucking pizza, pizza order. order. So what we're about to do is we're just about to find, you know what I'm saying, the less fortunate person, pick them up, boom, get us some food, and then we're about to just, you know what I'm saying, run the game bound, you know what I'm saying, go style them, and then that's how we're going to do that. This shit, we're going to get them drunk, too. You want to? <laughs> no, this way. All right, so we got our guy. This is him right here. What's up, Bobby? Bobby Davis. Yeah. What's up, my man? He said he wants some clean jeans, some clean shoes, a clean shirt. Yeah, man. And some food, so we're going to get them together, man. Find somebody. Nice guy named Bobby. Bobby D. Bobby yeah. D. How you know? That's they call you? <laughs> Bobby D. So what's your story, man? If you don't mind telling us about uh, yourself. Just out here homeless. You know, it's just my lifestyle. Man. Oh, don't get me wrong. The street beating me down, but I'm trying to fight it. Yeah, no worries. Hey, man. I'm originally from South Georgia. South Georgia? Yeah, LaGrange. Okay. Okay. But I, I lived there about like 30 some years. I'm originally from Jessup, Georgia. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, But now I've been up here in Atlanta for like mm, maybe eight, nine years. But I've been on the streets like four years. Did you have a Did you have a job and everything before you um, yes, was out I here on the street? I worked in that Mr. B's right up on Jones Street. Okay. Oh, what's that? The uh, they sell uh, restaurant equipment. Oh, restaurant equipment. Mm -hmm. you yes. know, right up is that a, Is that across from Walmart? No. Uh, oh. Right up the street. Up there. Okay. 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 I thought that was the name of that spot. That, that was that food spot though. You know that's what they sell like. Oh, All the heavy duty stuff. stuff. Bobby D, what what advice would you give to a you know young black man? Uh, you know? man just try to stay out of trouble and don't do the jail life. Don't do the jail. Especially don't try not to get be homeless. Mm -hmm. It's hard out here. Do you believe in like second chances for people? Yes. Uh -huh. you feel like you've had a second chance at your own life. Yes, I have, but I just made a downfall somewhere. Like I. Been away from Mr. B's about six, six, seven months now. Okay. Now, you know, I worked, but I was still doing the same thing home. Okay. Um, was getting my little money, drinking it up. And then I, you know, I get my little money to check. So I still mess up. That's, that's one of my biggest problems. Mm -hmm. And smoking that weed. <laughs> Just stay away from that if you can. I feel like there's never like a ending of second chances. Like you could always bounce back. Bounce back. Yeah, you know, I tell even the people like I go to the hospital or deal with different places that how the streets beating me down. Mm -hmm. It really beat me down, but I'm still trying to maintain. Yeah. And like, that's all that's you can do. I don't do. hang with nobody much. I sit by myself mostly. Yeah. I, I really don't know a lot of folks over that way like some people do. Uh -huh. You know, I had my own apartment before, but I just let the downfall hit them again. Yeah. What do you think it was? Just the, um, the liquor? Uh, it was a lot of drugs and drinking. I was letting people stay in my apartment that should have been staying there, you know, when yeah. I, like, I had sex. I was on such a night, and the oh, people yeah. kept coming in and seeing the people, so they, uh, had the landlord to evict me from that part of it, like they had been about four They did that shit to my grandma. Mm -hmm. Dead ass. That's crazy. Because we was there. Oh, wow. Yeah. If you don't mind me asking, how old are you? 65. 65, so... I'm 27. How old are you, Martin? 27. 27. Kid, See? Mm. How many children you got? I got four dollars. Okay. Four daughters? One son. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They two of them in Miami, one in LaGrange, and one in Jefferson. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, they all in there. Late thirties now. Okay, mm -hmm. wow. That's why you it's know, always it's not like if they see it on this end, they just know what that is. And uh, yeah, and you well, you, you you alive and well. That's more than anything I yeah. would want to know. At twenty seven, right? What what were you doing? Like, what was your? Uh, I had a good job when I was in my was late twenties and early twenties. Mm -hmm. I was working at the Lagrange Mall. Okay. Lagrange Mall. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's Lagrange. the the motor plant. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know yeah, what yeah. they make. One part make the part for cars, and one part made the copy and stuff for the car. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, where did you feel like your life started to make a turn for? Uh, the... back, I say about two thousand, maybe sixteen or fourteen, thirteen, something like that. Oh, not that long ago. Yeah. No, like I said, I've been here about four years, so I was living good out there for a minute. Yeah. Okay. 
yeah. which is still something that's feasible. Like you know that you can get to a point to where it's like, okay, I'm comfortable, but you also can know what it feel like to be on the other side. Yeah, because I'd have been in that down in my health right now too. You know, course, but I have a lady friend I can go live with. If I just get tired out there in the street. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. That's perfect. Good girl, but she just raised a lot of hell, but I have to just put up with it. Yeah, you know absolutely. how women can be. Yeah. <laughs> but it's blessing. It's a blessing just say, to have somebody like that that you know you know that you can. Oh, she be happy when I come there. Mm, that's good. She's going to yeah. raise the devil. Oh, now, I'm going to ask y'all so for somebody, how y'all get paid for, for stuff sure. like this? Uh, uh, y'all just do this for yourself? Yeah. Um, honestly, we just, we was, um, okay. we was, we was at the, um, you know, at the Brave Stadium yesterday, mm -hmm. just watching the football game, you know, and, you know, uh, we collaborated on videos before, but, you know, we just, both just brainstorming an idea to, you know, it's just to help. You know what I'm saying? Um, well, how y'all know about this? This area over here. So, me and, I'm familiar with it because me and my brother, we used to do um, videos over the past, like, mm. four years where we used to go down there mm. and we used to give a lot of money back to everybody out there. Yeah. So, I don't know if, you, if you're familiar with it, but we used to come in. Feel like a lot of stuff, like just I've food. Probably got some of the money before. Probably have, probably have. <laughs> yeah, probably. If it's been over, like a four years ago, yeah. Like I said, I've been out there about four years. Ago. It's yeah. a hard lie, but oh, you yeah. just got to be strong to make it. Girl. Oh yeah. But like I said, it beat me down, but I'm still trying to see. You still it. here, man. You still here. Yeah. And you still got a, a sane mind to say that this is this is accountability for what I'm doing and, and have done, but I also know that I can get to another place. You I know? hope a lot of more folks don't have to go through this situation. Yeah. It's rough out here. I'm just telling the truth about that. Yeah, I know. You know, especially like these cold nights, if you ain't got nowhere comfortable to go, yeah, uh -huh. you can imagine. Like, this morning I was up trying to see folks sleeping on the street. Not the Lord, it ain't that bad, though. Yeah. You know, I'm smart, but it's always yeah, a blessing in every in every situation. There's mm -hmm. always something you can look at, like damn. Yeah. It could be worse. All right, y'all. So we just pulled up to Second Street. Oh, uh, right now, Second Street is a clothing store. We in Atlanta, though. Got my boy. All right, thank you. Let's see what we can find. Well, you smile like y'all, bro. You yeah. can have diamond all in my mouth. Oh, for real? You, you know, had the grills? I, 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 well, so you know, I had them. So, look, this is the thing, right? Hold on, Black. I'm finna let him choose a pair of shoes. So, I got two pair of shoes. What size shoe you wear? Uh, 10. That's crazy, y'all. Got a size 10, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so, we two, two shoes. Shoes. Get these. That ain't no one nothing like that, buddy. Or you can get these. I like them, but... like these? Mm -hmm. You want these? Mm -hmm. I bet. So we're going to try to find something in there that... Something to match these. Okay, cool. Whole oh, fit. Y'all know how to dress it. Yeah, that's him, man. <laughs> I like 36 dirty. I don't like... I ain't like with the long... Yeah, nah. I like 36 dirty. What, 36 in pants? Mm-hmm. All right, but... And, like, when I'm, um... When I'm, like, styling you, I'm going to ask what you like and what you don't like still. Because, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I feel like it's important for you to have these, like, these clothes after you walk out of the oh, and I appreciate it, man. Yeah, no <laughs> so, like, what do you want? You want, like, a, like a shirt or you want, like, a, uh, what are you looking for? Yeah. Some yeah. warm or? Nice shirt, pants, a shirt. So you at 36? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're nice, though. They're RBG. Mm -hmm. What's your name on? RBG. RBG? Yeah. <laughs> he said, what the heck is that? <laughs> you, you can hear me? Yeah. Oh, man. That's way better. Yo, it's some dreaming, bro. <laughs> is that what? It's some dreaming? Nah. Nah, you're not dreaming, brother. Yeah. Uh, what color pants you like? You like lighter pants or uh, darker pants? Jeans or something like that would be fine. Huh? Just some jeans. Or, that ain't too in the casual but still nah because I don't live that life no more. That like jeans and be fine, blue jeans or black jeans, it don't matter. Yeah. What size you say you were? Uh, 36? 36. 36 dirty. 36 dirty. You know I don't care about like 32 because it's a little too long for me, but I right. do like 36 dirty. You just been riding around with them nice shoes in your car. Huh? You been riding around with them nice nah, shoes? Nah, I, I bought them out because I knew that I was gonna give them to you. Oh my God! Yeah, that's nice, man. No problem, bro. I need them. Yeah, I didn't know. 
I gotta look for some shit with it. I wanna bring the red out in the shoe. Yeah, your dad, you talking, bro. You know how to dress. Bring the red out? <laughs> yeah, bring it out. <laughs> So look, we're going to Urban Outfitters first to find his yeah. jeans because it's, it's kind of hard to find yeah. jeans enough because it's not organized, it's just random size and shit. Well, so. you know, I'm used to going to Kmart or Walmart or something, man, or the thrift store or anything like that. I've never been on just a, maybe in the years I have, but not lately. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm used to the cheap stuff. Which one you like the best? Uh. Them look nice. You got what, that, that, what these right here? Yeah, they look, got that. I if it do it, it's something like that. Huh? Thirty six in it. No, they got they got your size. Okay. Every every um okay. yeah, everyone has your size. They got another color right here too. Hey man, I like them now. You like these? Yeah. Uh, let me see how they go with it though. I think I think this color goes with it the most though. What do you think, Black? Mm -hmm. You can go this color or that color. But I think this the more like. Okay. Yeah, I like that uh, color more. Whatever y'all too. Yeah. How long y'all been doing this, guy? Um, this is our first time actually doing this. Oh, we've done God. previous video. We've done other videos in the past. And y'all walked right up to me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. I'm the one need the clothes, I guess. Nah, it wasn't even that. It's just you was by yourself, so it's like. Yeah. It's easier to talk to somebody than just them. And yeah. Because not just, everybody will understand what we're doing and just. Come with us. Yeah, them better. Life better. Like mm -hmm. Yeah, and plus they ain't wild yeah. me. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Hold on, I like them better. Let me check these. Mm -hmm. You think I'm going to go with the shoes, honey? Yeah, that's pretty good. They don't really go so with the shoes, We though. can get the shirt huh? to go with it. I'm going to go with the shoes. You think you pull it off? Uh -huh. You could. Oh, uh, how about a shirt? Could. That's what I think is going to dictate it. The shirt is going to see when you're mm -hmm. trying to put together with it. She ain't going to like that, bro. That baggy shit. Huh? That's that baggy ass with the big baggy look. Yeah. yeah. I don't care for the wide I like, I like, I like, like those? Bro. Yeah. All right, back. Come on, let's do it. Uh, nice shirt to go with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With a red hat. Mm -hmm. Need a hat now. Okay. Uh, Let's see. Pick out whichever color you want. Yeah, I like with white. Have to be just... Whatever one you want. Let's okay. get them. The mine was tough. Oh, yeah, him? Yeah. Okay. I like them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you just try it on and then. After you try that thing on, just come back out here so we can look at it. Okay. We kind of had to innovate a little bit because um, he had 3630. It's hard to find pants 3630. So, you know, we just, we did the best that we could for what we got. But I think it's going to be a dope look. So, the good so, thing about it is just satisfying them and doing a good deed. Right. So, now that you cut. Pants was the hardest thing. You know what I'm saying? What we had budget wise? What, what was that shit? Um, I think the pants was 89. The shirt was, 70. I think, 70 or something like that. And uh, we're not over 260 at all, though. We probably at like uh, probably like 200 at the most. 200. Yeah. As y'all know, I'm gonna do the full part. Me and Martin doing this video. I don't know what to expect with these clothes. Y'all drop down in the comments. What's Atlanta food spots? I've been out here for seven years. I don't know what the fuck that is. That's crazy. That's nice. Outside of okay. You're not from Atlanta, right? So basically, we're trying to find some food spots to take somebody. Pascal's. Pascal's. How how high is that? That's upscale. Oh, oh, what is it? What type of food is it? It's like soul food. Pascal's. I like soul food. I do too. Yeah, walked in coop. Walked in too fresh out with my boat. Rub my back, baby. You mama suit. I got a double cup, look like tuny full of juice. She wanna walk and flock a nigga. So mission one complete. We finally just found Bobby D's. You gotta get him a hat. Outfit. A hat. Oh yeah, so your your part not done. Yeah, I gotta get him a red hat. We're going back to Second Street. Get him a red hat. His fit is done. We're about to pay for these clothes. Give him a bag to put the old clothes in. Get out of here, get something to eat real quick at Pumps, and take him where he want to go, bro. Yeah, yeah, man. You got some Bobby D? Yeah, that's what the problem is, Bobby D. Bobby D. Yeah, it is. You still in the way. Wait till you walk in that door, man. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> well, I had my earrings on now. So uh, oh, snap. Don't play. <laughs> Don't play with How much is it? Oh, that's not bad. How often does it give you a uh, hooch? How much? Yeah, a hundred right now. Yeah. 182, 95. You know what the hooch is? No. no. Oh, it's not? Not the tap? I think it accents it right. 182, y'all. We doing good on budget. Right now, we just got Bobby D in his look. So now we got to go back up to 2nd um, second, second Street. So if you have me, we get top the fit off with a hat. We're going to do a red hat. So whatever look good, we're going to do it. Oh, man. Yeah. Man, y'all don't even know how to walk. Say you another up? No, man. Come on, man. Talk to us. You want to think I've done it before? Say so what? Make me think I've done this before. Yeah. Y'all know I have. Amen. Y'all like this, though, guys. Thank y'all so much. No problem, man. brother. No problem. Feel good. <coughs> got it on. Got it on. More importantly, we happy that he got like his clothes. You know, like I kind of put him on some things that I felt like looked better, but you know, it was what he wanted and what he's happy in, and that's the most important thing about. You know what we're doing is making somebody else happy, not making myself or a black happy. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it's about. Yeah, walked in coop, walked in too fresh out with my boat. How much is this? Oh, 70. That's above it. It's supreme though. Oh. See, I'm going too far. Oh, what? <laughs> oh yeah, I knew it was supreme. Oh, though. 70. Oh, look at this $70? What's on? Oh, God, man. That ain't bad. How you feel about this one? Whatever y'all think, guys. Yeah. How you feel? Mm -hmm. well, you want to look in the mirror and look at it? Yeah, man. Let's see what little Bobby David look like. Oh, man. <laughs> like it? <laughs> I, 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 I was just messing with y'all. Yeah, it yeah. do. Yeah. Like it? Yeah, I like it. All right, bet. We're going to get it. Uh, you could just, uh, yeah, just give me the tag. Matter of fact, hold on, we're gonna go up here so they just see that we're just taking it off now. Yeah, walked in coop, walked in too fresh out with my boat. Rub my back, baby, you my masseuse. I got a double cup, look like Tony full of juice. She wanna walk and fly. All right, y'all, so we currently at Pond City Market with my boy Bobby. We got Bobby, we got Martin in the cut. I'm in charge of the food, so he said he don't like chicken, but. This is a tacos, burritos, and margaritas place. You, you drink margaritas? You don't? You don't? No, margaritas. The margarita drink. How you doing, my man? So if you don't know Bobby D, I'm a food enthusiast. You know, I'm an amateur food critic. So I go to spots all around the world and I give an amateur opinion about how I feel about their food. So what we're gonna do is today, we're gonna try something. What you like eating though? I like Mexican food. You do? Yeah, let me do it. You got some rice, and I'm a rice lover. For you like rice? Yeah, man, I love rice. Green, beans. Greens, beans, potatoes, beans. tomatoes. Yeah, yeah man, you nice. <laughs> you nice, man. <laughs> I think I'm going to get the. You say you don't like chicken, though. No, I don't care for the chicken. I think I'm going to get the. That don't stop you? Huh? That don't stop you? I'm gonna oh, get no. The chicken. I'm about to go crazy. In your drinking days, what was your drink of choice? Yeah. Man, I drunk liquor, beer. I drink a lot of beer now. Oh, really? Yeah. You don't really do hard liquor. I drank, I drunk some last night, some um, chocolate, chocolate peach, I think it was. Mm. Apple juice. Apple juice? Yeah. Yeah, I drank that. Chocolate apple. Yeah. Chocolate. It's like a chocolate. That's the name of the liquor. Oh. But they got apple. They got different fruit flavors. I never had it. Yeah. Three shots of that. And then, uh, I know for sure what I want to eat. Y'all know what y'all want? To eat. What, what you get? I think I'm gonna get the uh, quesadilla or the burrito. Then you said they had the Mexican food. So basically, you ordered the burrito. You got the pork burrito. Mm -hmm. He said he a pork enthusiast. He said he don't play by this pork. I love it. He love pork. Yeah. Oh, so, I like pork. I like some pork. Like, how far do you go with the pork shit? Like, how, how far do you go with it? I can eat it every day. What type of pork though? Like pork chops, yeah, pork. Yeah, I like pigtails. Pigtails? Oh man. You know I, ain't, the I ain't never went that. I ain't never had that. That was super fast. 
Appreciate you. You ain't never had pigtails in my life. I never had pigtails in my life. Pigtails. I thought that was a hairdo. It's pork? Yeah. Yeah, you know the tail of the pig. Never. Oh, y'all don't know. I think that, yeah, pork rinds. So y'all ain't from the country then. Okay, yeah, no, 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 no. I think the closest to that I had is oxtails. Oxtails, you know that beef. Yeah, cool. Yeah, ain't, no, uh, ain't all of that. This is a long time. Where, here? Yeah, I ain't never been there. Really? No, I had heard of it, but I didn't know. Mm -hmm. I had heard of it, I never been there. Yeah, no, nah, it's not bad. Then it's a cool one. Then I got clean clothes. Fresh. Oh, my God. You want to, uh, you want to... Chase it like a spray or something, or yeah, uh, can I get a? Uh, can I get two more sprites? I ain't had nothing this fine in my life. Oh man, this is. <laughs> what y'all doing to Bobby me? How to think about it is, we got a sister named Kelly Kell. She be talking about this, just stepping into like new journeys of our life. I don't know what drew us to you, cause it wasn't like you looked like you needed anything. It was oh, like man. you was just chilling. I was <laughs> the one who hurt more than anybody. See, that's crazy growing everything that we doing and it's just this new phase so i feel like this shot i feel like we gotta take this shot to step into a new chapter you know what i mean fresh out look at every day every day is different you know what i mean you, you didn't know what was for you today we didn't know what we had going on today really we didn't know we'd That's be sitting blessing. here with you you know what i'm saying we had an idea of what we wanted to do today but what all came from that was just natural and just organic so we appreciate you for being a part of this with us pouring blessings over your next chapter whatever it looks like over our next chapters, whatever it looks like, you know what I mean? Fresh start of the day, that's all we're doing. It's a well, new start God, to the day. You give a blessing all kind of ways. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Thank God, man. It's the main man. New chapter, man. Oh, my God. We're going to get back to y'all, man, when this food comes. Appreciate y'all for watching the video so far. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new. Follow me and Martin right now. And we're trying to do this more often, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully, we can be a part of the next chapter for Bobby, you know what I'm saying? If he want us to, you know what I'm saying? If he, if he, if he fucking with us, man. <laughs> just, we just can't just wait on Bobby, man. No, man. Appreciate y'all for watching supporting us, man. We'll get back to y'all when this food comes. All right, so I literally just clicked the, the camera off, but uh, the food is already done. Perfect. Appreciate you. Yeah. Okay. So you gotta do your you what are, you want the rice? Oh no, that's in there. Mm -hmm. The rice and stuff is no, in there on that one. So you gotta hold up your plate. No, right. You gotta make a crazy face. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, I ain't getting no dip like y'all. Nah, we can get one though. Can I get a, uh, can we get a, uh, what you want, sour cream? You eat sour cream? Uh, yes, There's some sour dip. cream in there, too, but, um, I can get He want, like, a dip, uh, what sauce, yeah, like, what type of sauce? Yeah, that's sour cream right there. That's mm -hmm. sour cream right there. Like, like pico? That's pico. You want some yeah, pico? Yeah, yeah, I got you. Oh, man, y'all brothers know how to eat, man. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, one thing I know. I know how to eat. Y'all do it big, man. I know how to eat. They're going to eat, though. <laughs> they go eat. Though. I don't do anything. I'm gonna eat. So you gotta give them a real honest review. I love the way it looks. So they do got a good appearance to it. Yeah, I'm finna find out what it tastes like. Oh my god. Oh man. No cow. No cow. What's that? Bro, quesadilla. Is that chicken? Yes. Sure. Bro. Oh, yeah. Take one. Take one. Yes. I'm not gonna eat all this. Bro. Bussin', bro. Man, that looks good. Spoon to the fort. <laughs> I like to get it out. We got spoon, don't we? I'm not forking, man. Uh, but I can, I can handle it. Buddy, y'all, I want y'all real right. Oh, he about to dress it up. Dress it up. It's, Make it's, it real it's, it's good. I'll let him taste it. Quesadilla, chicken quesadilla. I give it a 8.5. How you feeling? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to eat, though. That's one oh, thing we're going to do. We're going to eat. Now, y'all feel me to film me now? Yeah. Hey, thank y'all, guys. No problem, man.
You know, think about me. When you with me, we gonna eat. You eat, I eat. I eat, you eat. You kiss me one day with some money. Huh? I'll feed you too, brother. Come on, man. I might do a barbecue down there soon. Come out there and do a barbecue mm -hmm. there by where you was. Just pull up with a grill. Mm -hmm. I might need your help cooking, man. Oh, man. I can cook, but I ain't too good. You ain't no grill? See me, I'm a grill. I'm the grill. The grill man. I go crazy with the burgers, with the chicken wings, mm. with the steaks. But they'll eat it. Yeah. This is both down there. Love that bear. Brother, this is good. Thank y'all. Super good. Mm. Y'all like it. But y'all. We're going to wrap. I'm not laughing. No, that's not this good. <laughs> We're gonna wrap this up here, man. Appreciate everybody like, comment, watching, like, comment, subscribing. We need 500 likes on this video. 500 likes on this video, man. And me and Bobby D gonna try different places. Mm -hmm. Hey y'all. Hey man, thank y'all. But what if we did like Bobby D? What if we did like a a eat show where we just tried a different bunch of different restaurants? I like. I don't matter. And we glad. gotta really rate it. We gotta give my real opinion. I'd be glad to go with y'all. All right. Don't don't play, bro. When it's time, or when it's time, we can look at the best spots and the worst spots. So we can give them our real opinion. Anybody that own restaurants or anything of that nature in the Atlanta area, please holler at your boy. He black on Instagram, H E B O V C K. We got Martin. Love of St. George. I'm gonna put it on the screen, y'all. This video is to step into a new chapter in your life. Good or bad, it don't matter. It's just a new chapter. You always got a fresh start. Sometimes you just need a little pick me up during the day, a little fresh start during the day. So this will be our first start. This is our first start for sure. My boy Bobby got clean clothes, mm -hmm. fresh meal, full stomach, and he got a lady at the crib waiting on him. Oh, thank you, y'all. Yeah, waiting on him at the crib. So. Well, no, she, she ready to move her on this time. I'm gonna tell him a lot. Thank y'all again for watching the video, man. Blood like Tony full of juice. She wanna walk and flock a nigga, check my dreads in the bed. I'm counting money in the bed, all these thoughts in my head. I might get fly, walk outside, get fly. I just beat the block, hit the gas, fucked up my tires.